Some recent graduates say they have to take an unnecessary risk to be able to start their careers. Hundreds of potential lawyers will come to Raleigh next week for the bar exam amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Our Capitol reporter Michael Hyland is live in Raleigh. And Michael, you talked to a cancer survivor who says she's worried that she's at risk. Right, she and her classmates say they want to start practicing and eventually be able to come here to court and do their jobs, but she thinks there needs to be a safer option next week and has even reached out to the governor about it. An exam with the risk of exposure to COVID-19. If we have to take this exam for two days in the middle of the pandemic, I'm just not sure what it says about our profession. Brittany Preibel recently graduated from Campbell Law School. She'll join more than 700 people next week taking the bar exam. She's survived colorectal and breast cancer, leaving her immune system compromised. The chance of someone at the bar exam having COVID-19 is extremely high. Organizers of the exam say it'll be held in several buildings, including at the state fairgrounds, with space to spread people out. Out. Masks are required and temperatures will be taken. But those who show up for the exam will have to acknowledge they're taking a risk that could result in getting COVID-19 and even dying. It really blew my mind and, and my first thought was, well, if it's this unsafe, why are we doing it? It is not an entirely risk-free situation. Kimberly Herrick is chair of the State Board of Law Examiners and coordinating next week's exam. I certainly understand um, while people are nervous and we've tried to provide as much information as we can. Herrick said board members talked about having a remote option but worried about people having reliable internet. The online option just kind of has its own disadvantages that we felt outweighed having a remote option. They're accommodating people like Brittany by opening separate rooms but Brittany says other students are concerned too and looking for a safer option. More than 200 other people taking the exam wrote to Governor Roy Cooper about their concerns. His office did not reply to a request for comment from us today. This afternoon, Georgia canceled its in-person exam that was set for September. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.